Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is the Bibby Bottle Opener. Before we do this, I'd like you to like and subscribe, check the little bell icon so you don't miss it when I go live, which is usually Tuesdays, no it isn't, it's Thursdays at five o'clock UK time. Uh, and other times as well. So that's why you want to hit that little bell icon so you get notifications. And please go and look at onlinemagic.co, my membership site that everybody loves. And uh, you will too. Learn from a pro, onlinemagic.co. This is the Bibby Bottle Opener by Elliot Bibby. And, um, and it's great. So again, it's, it's a quick trick. So it's going to be a quick review. There's not loads to say about it, which is no reflection on the trick itself. It's just one of them ones that it's kind of a simple idea. And all the best tricks are, aren't they? Um, they're kind of simple. We can tell people happen very easily. You had a bottle opener and it ended up on the, uh, what's it called? No, you had a bottle top. <laughs> That's a bottle top, right? Ended up on the bottle opener. That's what it did. Or, or a bar blade, if that's what you want to call it. But I'm old, so I'm going to call it a bottle opener. And as you can hear by that description, it's an odd trick as well, which is a good thing. This is kind of produced, I think, by Luke Osland, I think. Um, and all of Luke's stuff and Elliot's stuff has got that kind of quirky feel to it, which is what we want. People want to see something different. They don't always want to see a card trick and a coin trick. And I think this fits into that category really well. Great for social media, kind of, but with a little caveat to that. So it's really visual. It's really unusual. The fact that that bottle top goes into the, the bar blade, but it's not easy it's not simple simple now there are two handlings of this and one of them is a lot easier one of them uses well they both potentially can use a move which in itself isn't very difficult it's a classic move but because of the shape of the bar blade it's going to be a bit more of a challenge and going to need a little bit more practice if you do the almost like the non-gimmicked version which you can there's a move that is challenging uh, it's kind of like a vanish I'll put that, and, and for those of you that, n that know your coin stuff, you're gonna know what it is, but he mixes that with another thing, which is actually a really clever idea. And actually, the first bit of it's pretty easy, but kind of cleaning up can be a bit of a challenge if you wanna reproduce that bottle uh, lid, which of course you don't have to. The non gimmick version is easier technically, but it's kind of knacky. And I always say knacky, and people, you know, I think I've said it on a couple of videos recently, by knacky, what I mean is there's nothing sort of difficult to do, but you need to practice it. It's like a rehearsal thing. It's all about kind of how hard you throw things and catch things and all that kind of thing. So you'll all be able to do it, but you're gonna to have to really understand the kind of dynamics of it all, if you see what I mean. Um, but that's super easy and it's the one that I ended up doing. I recorded so many versions using the non-gimmicked version, and it's all gimmicks, but you know, using the, the, the more difficult, technically difficult version, but on video, I just got really self-conscious. I was like, I can kind of see what I'm doing. So in the end, I did the easier one, but it looks better, I think, I think. So two versions of that, but it's not just that. You can then, if you think about it, as he says, you can start incorporating other tricks. So you can open a bottle of Corona, put the bottle lid up there, vanish the bottle or produce the bottle first and do all that stuff. So I'm thinking of Henry Harrius's um, trick with a Corona bottle, the appearing bottle in the bag, or you can take a bottle out of your shoe, as, as he says. And loads of stuff you can do, versions of splash bottle, things like that. And then you could even drink the, the thing and then do a bottle through table. So it kind of, you can add it into a bigger effect or you can just do a, something really quick and snappy. Um, I think it's really cool. I think it looks great. It's great fun to play with. Not super easy, um, but well worth a look. So please use the links below. Um, if you want to purchase it or find out more, check out the trailers, all that kind of stuff, and ask any questions, very important. So thank you for sending that to me. Or give, oh, that was a Blackpool thing. I've got that in Blackpool, as I did with, um, with Luke's trick the other day, and most of the stuff I'm reviewing at the moment, let's be honest. So thanks for that. Use the links. Go and look at onlinemagic.co, and have a great one. Cheers. Or like and subscribe.